Welcome back to Mason Talks. So with the 14th overall pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers selected Ochai Abaji, a wing player from the University of Kansas. Now, Ochai Abaji was a pick that 100% filled a need for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Coming into this offseason, the two biggest needs that the Cavaliers had were depth at the wing positions and depth at backup point guard. And backup point guard generally is a position where most teams look to add a veteran player. So drafting Ochai Abaji with the 14th pick and adding youth to your wing rotation along with guys like Lowry Markinen and Isaac Okoro, Jetty Osman, it was really a no-brain decision for Kobe Altman and the Cavaliers. Now, it was interesting to see the Cavs get to that 14th pick and have a lot of really intriguing options available obviously Malachi Branham the Ohio State product was still available AJ Griffin from Duke University was still available but the Cavaliers decided that Ochai Abaji would be their pick now Abaji brings two key things to the Cavaliers and the first and most notable thing that he's going to add to this rotation is three-point shooting. Abaji uh, last season was a 40% three-point shooter for Kansas. He took 6.5 threes per game. He hit uh, about two per game, and that's really the key to his on-court abilities. He's going to be a shooter. He's going to be a guy that spaces the floor for the Cavaliers, and that is something that they desperately need. The Cavaliers really lack spacing. Obviously, Darius Garland can hit threes. You see Larry Markinen hit threes. You see Kevin Love hit threes. But outside of that, the Cavs don't have a lot of guys who can space the floor. And when you have a team that is based on Darius Garland, who likes to attack the basket, Evan Mobley and Jared Allen, who both like to attack the basket, adding players who can shoot threes, stretch the floor, and really space things out for your offense to work, that is a key thing that's that's something very important to have and and Ochai is going to immediately add that to the team but on top of that he showed at Kansas the ability to be a very capable defender with his size with his frame he's able to guard multiple positions and he's going to add some versatility to that Cavs defensive front he's going to be a guy who much like Isaac Okoro can be at least, you know, uh, just flexible defensively. He can guard multiple different players, multiple different nights, and that is something that the Cavs also needed. They, you know, obviously, uh, you know, Evan Mobley and Jared Allen did a very good job protecting the paint last season for the Cavs, but at times their perimeter defense was suspect, and Ochai Abaji is somebody who will be able to help that. And I, I think on top of that, one thing that uh, it, it probably was highly valued by the Cavaliers was sort of his college pedigree. And I, I, I think that this is something that really should be viewed as valuable by more teams, and that is how it, these players contribute. And when you look at Abaji, he, he obviously was a four-year player, um, so, you know, he, 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 he was in college a lot longer than guys like Malachi Branham and, and A.J. Griffin. And he was a constant, he, he was a player who was constantly improving and constantly contributing to one of the premier college basketball programs ever at the University of Kansas. And that, of course, all culminated this past uh, season when Kansas won the uh, March Madness Tournament. They won the college basketball uh, national title. And Abaji was part of that. He was part of a, a, you know, an ultimate winning effort. And that is something that the Cavs need more of. They need these players. And they did a good, they, you know, they did a good job developing that this past season. And I think the Cavs are, are, are definitely getting there. Although, of course, they fell short in uh, heartbreaking fashion uh, in the, in the play in tournament. But they're getting players who are building a winning culture, and the way to continue building that winning culture 
is to add uh, winners, to add guys who who are are contributors to winning. And, you know, we've seen that with with previous teams who have been able to rebuild from really the ground up through the draft, like the Golden State Warriors. They they obviously got Steph Curry in 20, uh, 2009, but then they just kept adding these sort of, uh, you know, they added guys from winning programs like Draymond Green came from Michigan State, another one of those premier programs. And you see these teams are able to add through the draft uh, winners, guys with winning mentalities. And I think that's something that Ochai... Uh, can add to this team and I'm sure uh, that Kobe Altman valued that and you know one of the things that probably turned a couple of GMs or at least a couple of teams away was his his age he he's 22 years old and in the NBA getting drafted at 22 is like you're 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 an old man basically at that point because you know youth is the the name of the game basically a lot of teams like to have young guys to be able to mold and develop but for the Cavaliers, a team who last season just missed the the playoffs and, and they're just looking to get over that hump, I don't think the fact that he's 22 years old is going to be a detriment. In fact, I think it could be a benefit because that puts him right along the same tracks as, as Darius Garland and Jared Allen and Colin Sexton and the rest of your core. He's not going to be you know a couple years behind, a couple uh, uh, years, you know, needing development, he kind of is a plug and play three and D guy, and he might not be destined for stardom. He might not be this incredible, you know, multi-time All Star player. But Ochai Abaji, I think, is going to be a contributing piece, a very good contributing piece to this Cavs team and their hopeful run to the playoffs let me know in the comments what did you think of this selection do you think Abaji will be able to continue being a sharpshooter for the Cleveland Cavaliers thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports show I will see you in my next episode goodbye